Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing CF Monterey 2, FC Cincinnati 1, 3 to 1 on aggregate for Monterey. They move on to face Inter Miami match in the CONCACAF Champions Cup 2024 round of 16 leg 2. CF Monterey 2, FC Cincinnati 1, 3 a 1 global in la Copa Campeones de la CONCACAF. Partido Volta, octavo de final. Monterrey, avanzar a la cuartos de final contra Inter Miami CF. Monterrey move on to face Miami. Cincinnati tried. They fought their butts off. But in the end, luckily, Vasquez scored the goal when he did. And Cincinnati didn't try anymore to get two more because we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Fox Sports, I'm, I'm looking at you. But let's talk about this match first before we talk about Fox Sports being crappy and favoring a dying college basketball conference. Let's get there. Luis Romo in the 42nd minute scores a goal, gets the ball to his feet, back heels the ball into the net past Celentano. Nobody marking him. A very good goal for Romo. 1-0 on the night. 2-0 on aggregate. 1-0 esta noche. 2-0 global. That's the way we're going to half as well. Halftime, 1-0. 2-0 on aggregate. 1-0 esta noche. 2-0 global. Monterey have the lead, and they make it hard for Cincinnati. But right at the start of the second half, Luciano Acosta with a solo run. Goes, oh, let me get right past you. Keeps the ball. Gets past two defenders. Slots it home past Andrada to make it 1-1. One, 1-1 one. Uno, uno esta noche. 2-1 two on aggregate. 2-1 global. And Cincinnati only needs one. Sadly enough, in the 68th minute, it is Brandon Vasquez who gets it. But he plays for the other team. Brandon Vasquez scores in the 68th minute. Ball pass to him. It's an open tap-in. He beats Celentano. And once you know it, Brandon Vasquez, the former Cincinnati man, puts Cincinnati, puts the dagger in Cincinnati's Champions Cup chances. 2-1 to one on the night. 3-1 on aggregate. 2-1 esta noche. 3-1 global. And not a minute too early because Fox chose to show a Pac-12 tournament game. Basketball, men's basketball, Pac-12 tournament game instead of the last 20 minutes of this game. But in the end, it still ends full time. 2-1 to one on the night, 3-1 on aggregate. 2-1 esta noche, 3-1 global. Full time stats are as follows. Monterey does advance. Full time stats are as follows. Monterey avanzad. 18 shots to 11, 5 shots on goal to 5, 55% possession to 45% possession, 468 passes to 396 passes, 84% pass accuracy to 81% pass accuracy, 6 fouls, 13, 0 offside to 0, 1 yellow card to 3, 0 red cards to 0, 12 corners to 3. Let me quick hit what I thought about this match, and then we're going to yell at Fox Sports. So the first half, Monterey parks the bus. Cincinnati has the ball. They can't put the ball in the back of the net. Monterey gets a play against the run of play. They pop a goal in. You think it's over. But Monterey, again, letting Cincinnati have the ball because that's all they had to do was let them have the ball. All they had to do was park the bus. They trust themselves. They believed it was going to go well. And guess what? Here we are. Monterey gets a 1-0 lead at the half. The second half, Cincinnati starts hot. They get a goal that energizes them. They're really going for a second until Monterey break. And find one to Brandon Vasquez. And Vasquez puts it away. And then again, after that, I didn't see any of the last 20 minutes. Because Fox Sports, you suck. But again, Monterey did exactly what they had to do. They defended very well. They parked the bus. They said, we'll score against the run of play. As many times as we need to, Cincinnati are not going to score two goals or beat us 1-0. Or beat us 2-1. to one. Or something like that. No, they knew they would at least draw, and that's what they won two to one. They didn't just draw, they won two to one. Monterey did exactly what they needed to do. Tough defense. The referee did favor them, I would say. Forward play, not really there. Tough defensive effort. A lot of fouls or a lot of flops that led to fouls and stoppages of play. But Cincinnati 
didn't do enough with the ball. Yes, Luciano Costa, of course, being an MVP, making an MVP play. Hasn't really done that in league play. Did it tonight in Champions Cup play. But he hasn't looked too good this season in the league. But he finally had one of his signature MVP level plays. But the forwards, the strikers didn't do good enough. Oriano didn't do good enough. They had a lot of chances on the ball. They had a lot of time on the ball. And it just wasn't meant to be for Cincinnati. Now... Man of the match for me, Brandon Vasquez, because he's the one who put the dagger in Cincinnati with two goals over both legs. Let's give it to Brandon Vasquez. Now, the last 20 minutes, I have no idea about. You know why, Fox Sports? You're dumb. It's March Madness. People care about the Pac-12 tournament. My ass. One, I love football. Two, I'm not a Yankee. I don't give a crap about a dying football or college sports conference. I'm not a Yankee. Hell, even Yankees don't care about the Pac-12. This ain't the Big Ten. Go bury the Pac-12 next to the Big East. But they show Utah, Colorado. The only thing about Colorado that matters is when Deion Sanders had something to do with it. So, Fox. You choose to take this game off the air at 69, 70 minutes. Yes, Cincinnati probably weren't scoring two goals in 20 minutes. This is true. Here's the problem, though. CONCACAF Champs Cup is a bigger tournament than anything the Pac-12 could put on, especially now that people know they're dying. And what do you do? It's like, nope, college basketball matters more in March. No, it doesn't. I guess it does, but not to me. Five days later, five days later, does a Mississippi State game, but still. <sighs> That's because I'm a Mississippi State fan, not because I give a crap about March Madness. With that being said, Fox, you pay all this money to show CONCACAF football. What do you do? Or the tournaments? The Central American Cup, Caribbean Cup, Champions Cup, the club tournaments. What do you do? You say, nope, basketball matters more. Takes it off FS2. They said Fox Sports app, but I got the app. I did not see it. I had to go on a wild goose chase for 10 minutes trying to find some. I couldn't find anything, and I'm like, screw it. I'll just follow the damn score on Fop Mob and just do some stand-up comedy on the stream. Screw you, Fox. You know what CONCACAF should do? Go to Paramount+. Plus. Paramount+, Plus has all the international CONCACAF tournaments, women's and men's. Might as well bite the bullet, get rid of Fox, and put everything on Paramount+, Plus and Pluto. Hell, well, that would be the Golasso Network, but still. Easy. Easy. But you're not. You're not. Because... For some reason, they think it's cool to have the club tournaments and the national team tournaments separated, which makes no sense to me, but whatever. I'm glad Apple TV's a thing. I know that's just MLS, but still, I'm glad it's a thing. See, people saw the writing on the wall, but Fox, amateur hour. That's a hat flick for you, amateur hour. With that being said... I'm not happy about it. I don't think any of us are happy about it if you were watching on Fox. And no, I don't got Vix because I don't speak enough Spanish to watch a telenovela or Caso Cerrado. I only have it for football. Honestly, for this like one month. Maybe next year I will do a free trial just so this doesn't happen again. But let's remember that. With that being said... Do better, Fox. Congratulations, Monterey. Commiserations, Cincinnati. Felicidades, Monterey. Commiserations, Cincinnati. Congratulations, Felicidades, New England. Commiserations, Alavalense. We got two. The last two teams are through. We have our final eight. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribed, send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlist. Share us with friends and family. All that great stuff. I'll see you tomorrow for the round of 16 recap and quarterfinal predictions of the 2024 CONCACAF Champions Cup.
We got a little bit on Friday. Let's have some fun with it. But I'll see you tomorrow. With that being said, I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Fox, another hat flick to you.